Beep, beep. What is up, ninjas? My name is Sam World, and welcome to the Complete Guide to Master Spire. Today, we're going to be making your first bass house sound in Spire. And if you already made bass house sounds in Spire, then shit. Uh, nah, guys. But the whole series has been revolved around learning Spire for those of you guys that want to make your own sounds in it. So today, we're going to put everything we have learned to use to make a bass house womp. Now, the first important thing that whenever you hear a sound or you want to make a sound is to figure out the shape of the sound. So the first thing is when you hear the bass house womp, usually we have the fast Boom, or we have a wah, or we have a wah. So we have to first understand how to shape that. So the initial wah is always going to be with the attack of the sound. So what we're going to do here is use a filter to shape this. Um, and we're going to be using this guy here, automatically route it there. Decay, we'll leave it as is. With the attack, we're going to control that. So how fast do you want it? Easily come out instantly or take your time. Totally up to you. As you can see, so now from there, the decay is going to say how long it takes for us to go down back to a volume of zero. So if you heard the song Duck Face by F Word, F Word sound is more of a a very fast kind of hit. It's not going to be a very long hit, so then you would go for a lower decay. But let's say you want a longer kind of womp, then you increase the decay. From there, let's put mono, uh, mono 3 so that we get that flow with it. And there we go. We've shaped the sound to the way we want it. Now, from here, it's time to decide the color of the sound. So this is where we would kind of pick if we want to use FM or just a wavetable. So if we want to use FM, we go into FM mode and we have a sign automatically, which sounds great. We can apply a bit of FM with Control-A. Okay, from there, you can choose to have half a sign, half, you know, half the wave, uh, the FM. And Control B will control kind of harmonics. You can have a plus seven FM. Which will give you that. So totally up to you how you want to approach this, guys. I'm going to choose to stay with the normal Control A at 12 o'clock. Around there, sounds really good. Let's go lower. There we go. That's what I want there. Now, moving on, we're going to have our unison or voicing. And here we can choose to have two voices. That, so that way we can get a wide type of wub or we can get a mono one. So it's going to be totally up to you to decide whether you want your sound to be in stereo or in mono. Well, stay with mono for now. All right. And from there, we're pretty much done here. You can add more layers as we will as we approach the end of the sound in case it needs it. From here, we can add shapers, which are going to be the distortions we can use. We can have a band, so that way we can have kind of like a pinpointed type of distortion. A little bit of a sample rate down, but if you want that wah kind of like robotic voice, you lower that. All right, from there, you can choose to add kind of like a vowel to the sound. So let's say you want kind of like a vowelish vibe to it, you can add this vowel mid in the phaser. With frequency, you control where it's at. Lower the rate and then feedback. You can get more of it out. So totally up to you how you want to approach that. I'll go with the mid. There we go. Very simple. A bit of reverb to give it, make it sound like it's in a room and we're done there. So from here, I can start to decide whether I want this to have a bit more sound, whether it's too distorted and I just want that FM garage wobble. This is where you're going to decide that, guys. Um, but very simple here. We can EQ now, give a bit of highs maybe. Increase the glide a bit more. So More attack. 
And now from there, Oscillator 2, we can kind of activate it to give it a bit more flavor. Let's say you want something to sound more up there and to be in a plus 7 vibe, then you can also do that here, plus 7. And let's put it up in Oct And maybe have that be wide instead. And you can start to get that sound more. Let's tame the volume a bit so it's not clippy. And then maybe less. So you don't open it up all the way. Bit of resonance. And you can start to get different sounds. By itself, but together. You can even go with maybe different wavetables. And you can start to get really cool kind of different vibes, guys. It's all about experimenting. Now, the last thing I do want to show you is sometimes you want to take this further. Let's use a square, which is one of the more <coughs> traditional ones to use. Um, and we can easily activate that with Control A. We're going to use a Perfecto filter to shape it. There we go. Um, now, let's say I want to have like this comb style filter like you can do in Serum. And I want it to get filtered as well because sometimes you just don't want that comb to be there all the time um, when the sound, you know, is gone. So what we can do is put the comb here and then we can put a low pass here. Filter balance all the way to the right. That This guy will control everything. As you can see. Now here you're going to put cutoff number two. And now we can mess with this comb. And notice how it gives it a different vibe. Now from there, we can start to kind of just do the same thing we did with the last sound. Add shaper. Um, and sound. You know, I can get rid of this. And I get that, but with the code, we get that vibe. Now we can add more layers, and let's say that the other layer, we don't want that layer to go through the combo filter because we don't want comb on it. Then just put the filter input to number two. That way we skip that. Um, this is a little bit more tedious, advanced, kind of like, all right, thinking about it, but it will give you better results as well. Like easily here, you can use a saw instead. And, and again, very similar, maybe FM that um, and, and use a like piano FM. <laughs> Uh, maybe add that one stair. And you're starting to get different kind of sounds, as you can see. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end it here. Hopefully, this makes easier to make these kind of bass house sounds. You saw it's kind of simple. But at the end of the day, it's all about creativity and experimenting to kind of get different vibes out of this sound until you find the one you want. Biggest advice I give you guys, though, is if you're working on music, use presets. And if you're not working and can't come up with anything, do a bit of sound design. Save your presets. That way, when you work on a song, you have your very own presets for each genre. And you can just bring them up and see if any of those fit before you start going into other sound banks that you've purchased or have laying around. With that being said, guys, my name is Sam World. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time on the Complete Guide to Master Spire in maybe a couple of days, maybe a week, maybe a month. But I hope you guys keep following it. You guys have a good one. Take care. And if you want to support the channel, Evil Sounds dot com is there for your needs peace out